All right, guys, it is 10 a.m. on Thursday, 9 November. Um, we're over here at the little pond. We're just going to try to catch a couple fish real quick. That's got a little four inch finesse worm on there right now. Um, we're going to spend maybe an hour here um, and try to catch something real quick. Um, we're approaching, slowly approaching, um, our hundredth video. So that's kind of exciting, at least for me. There we go. Got one. Little guy. Mm -hmm. yeah, little half pounder. It's pretty though. Little half pounder. Yep. There's number one. There we go. Got a good one too. Yep. There we go. Pounder. Got a little pounder. Almost pounder, three quarters. Number two for us in the span of the last five minutes. It was 77 when we got here, and now it's 74, so that cold front seems to be moving in. Quarter pounder. Mm -hmm. Number three. Let's see if our worm is still jacked up. Yeah, we're gonna switch it out. Now we're gonna put a bigger one on. This is a six inch zoom um, finesse trick worm. That's what it is. Um, this is a watermelon with red flake. Not a lot of sun today, so the flakes won't be popping and this hook is pretty small for what we have usually I like to use a little bit bigger hook like a four or five aught maybe EWG but that's what we're gonna use now There we go, we got one. Number four. Another little guy. Little guy city. Mm -hmm. Damn, we hooked him just like we did the other one too. Yep, another quarter pounder. Oh, damn, we got one. Pretty good one, too. Number five. Yeah. Same size as all the others. Mm -hmm. Yep, same size as all the others. That's good. Means they're spawning, right? Our second one that we caught way out there. Another one, same size, number six. That's way out there, I mean, in the center. Yeah, all the same size. 
There we go. Got him. It's out there again. Another little one. Like 50 feet from where we caught that last one. Same size. He was swimming right with us. Same size. This is crazy. This is crazy. Yep, number eight, all the same size. All there we go. Number nine. Same size. Yep, same size. <laughs> Number nine. Crazy, crazy. You would think that this is, you know, <laughs> that this is the same fish. It's like a little clone. Got another one. Do we? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, I'm running low on battery, but I think this is number number eleven. Again from the center. Um but I was running low on battery, so I I um I'm just turning it on after we hook them. So. Number 12 for us, all the same size, way out there. <laughs> Hopefully we have enough battery to, just in case we catch a big one. But number 12. For us. <coughs> well, this one's bigger. This one's <laughs> not, not much bigger, but it's bigger than the ones we've been catching. They're all like little clones of each other, and this one's like their big brother. Yep, number 13 though. If I can get this guy unhooked eventually, shoot. There. 13. Yeah, he's about the same size as all the others. All right, we just caught number 14, but my battery died actually. So I had to switch it out for an older battery that had 8% left. So we're at 14, the same size as before. We're 15 right here, and I think it's the same size as all the others. Let's see. <laughs> yep, same size as all the others. And it's number 15 for us. Number 14 was not on camera because um, the battery, what little bit was left in it, um, didn't have enough juice. So this is 15, all the same size. That concludes our day over here. We caught 15 bass in two hours, or just under two hours, hour and 50 some minutes. And all of them were about one third pound. It's incredible. Um, it was just a ton of action. The first one, it took us about 20 minutes to catch the first one. And then after that, it was pretty, pretty fast and furious. And what was weird is, is that we were casting out into the center, just cast as far as we could, let it hit the water, let it drop and bingo. We were catching them way out there. Nothing by the shore, hardly at all. It was all out there, which is really weird. 
it's like they're out there and they're suspended so i don't know never had any experience like that before at least with largemouth bass um pretty exciting day but the weather is starting to come in a little bit heavier so i'm getting ready to skedaddle all right catch y'all later bye